Yes. KT. Google Map application. KT. KT. Sorry. Google Map application KT. No, no. Mm -hmm. Anything else? To learn the key skills of a to recruiter to have. To improve the skill. Yes, ma'am. Right. Basically, you joined this session today to learn about how you're going to work as a USIT recruiters, right? Yes, ma'am. So no. basically, yes, ma before starting the session, I just want to make you some uh, some points clear so that you'll have this persona like how you have to attend the session, all right? So basically, you have three or four days training sessions with me. My name is Kushi, all right? And I'm going to teach and talk to you about the USIT recruiter, like how you have to work and how you have to learn all such things, okay? So the first session is all about the introduction part and also involved about some other details as well. The second session is about the US geography, their text terms and work authorizations. And the third session is about the IT related stuff and how you're going to make the strings. All right. On the fourth session is about the practical training, like how you guys going to work in an organization on the ATS, which is I'm going to tell you what is ATS. Okay. So these are four day training sessions and then after that i'll give you one or two day break so that you will recognize and learn all the stuff which i have just taught you on the pdf which i'm just going to share with you after every session but after every session you have to go through the pdf and ask as many questions as you want to after the session as well if you have any query and in the next session you can also ask so after giving one or two day break, I'm going to start taking your mock sessions. And after taking the mock sessions, I'll give you or I'll take your mock. Okay. After taking the mock and if you guys get cleared by my side on the mock, then I'll give you the experience letter and the experience of how much years of experience and the company name, which you have to update on your LinkedIn and Nokri profile. And after updating on the LinkedIn and Nokri profile, you will going to get a number of calls from the HRs who are looking for the USIT recruiters and you will get a good placement in a good company. All right. This is the process. How you guys going to be, uh, how you guys going to follow. All right, people, is there any doubt and any question and query in between right now, which I've just told and said. No, ma'am, it's clear. No, ma Everything is clear to everybody? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma All right. So before starting the session, I want to tell you some rules which is very necessary to be fulfilled and followed. Okay. The first rule is that whenever I'm just preferring or giving you a prior timings to join the session, need to be on the time only. I don't entertain latecomers. Okay. Second, when I'm going to teach or taught you right now about the things which I'm going to tell you in this one hour of training, after the training, I'm going to take your, uh, you know, question and answer thing, which I'm just going to ask you after this session. So the people who are not giving me the responses, the people who are unresponsive, the people who are not giving the correct response to me, after even uh, teaching you whatsoever it is, then I'll mark them absent or, uh, you know, uh, mark their self as a different category. And after every session, I'm going to give you, uh, you know, a message in which everything is written, like who guys are present, number of students are present or not, how many number of students are present, who are responsive, who are active in the session, who are not active, because I am not here to teaching the people who are dumb or who are not even interested, right? I am not going to waste my energy on them. The people who are really keen and interested to get placed in the good companies, I am with them totally, 100%. But the people who are not interested, I will not going to entertain them. Clear? Yes. Also, if I'm going to ask you any question, you need to be responsive throughout the session. If, they, if any question is going to be there right now, if I'm just asking you that, is it clear or not? You have to be responsive. Okay. okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, okay, ma okay, ma so okay. I am just going to share my screen. So just let me know if you are able to see that. Okay. 
Is my screen visible to you all? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All yes, right. So before starting, also want to tell you that it is a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for you guys to get placed in the USIT recruiters because right now, if you, if you guys going to work or you know get yourself placed in and as term of freshers, you are just going to have only fifteen to eighteen k in hand, right? But with us, after uh, giving you training, I'm going to tell you each and everything what our recruiter do. So after that, you will get a minimum one year of experience, or more than that. It depends on your capability and the learnings how you're going to learn. So it it is a very very good opportunity for you guys to grab this and make an effort, learn through it, and get yourself placed in the good companies. Because there are a lot held many companies, staffing companies are there in the market. So you have this opportunity right now, which you have to crack it and deal it. It's for your own good only. All right. So be active in the session, and if you have any question, go ahead, do ask. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Yes. Okay, ma'am. So this is our first session, which is the introduction part, right? Which I've told you prior as well. Like first is staffing companies. So let's first discuss what is staffing companies, right? So staffing companies are those who fill in the positions of IT and non-IT companies. All right, and staffing company is one of the biggest industry of the world, and it worth around one fifty one billion dollar. Can you imagine? Like it is worth around one fifty one billion dollar. I'll let you know like how it is worth around so much. That's why if you have plenty of opportunities, opportunities to get placed because there are a lot many staffing industries out of there. All right. so if how your career is going to be look like if you join as a usit recruiter so you might be you can get placed in the uh, position of usit recruiter or might be it is it recruiter or it is senior it recruiter or tech technical recruiter it might be any four of them all right so basically it's a night shift job because it's a us us timings right so the timings will be around 6:30 pm to 3:30 am Or 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. or 7:30 p.m. to 4:30 a.m. All right, and it is prior by five days working only, which is Monday to Friday. Saturday Sunday will be permanent off, and most of the companies are not providing are not providing work from home nowadays because COVID is over, pandemic is over, so everybody, every company needs their employees to be on site. So people. Who are looking for work from home opportunities can leave right now because there is no opportunity of work work from home in the market now. Every company want their employees to be on site. All right, okay. and your salary will initial salary will be around thirty five k to forty five k plus incentives per month from our side. So if you guys want to get placed in the good companies after two months as well, and if you want your increment, if you want like you want to switch somewhere, so you can come then as well to us and make your uh, we'll provide you some good experience on the basis of your knowledge only, and then you will get uh, you can try for going higher uh, higher uh, packages right forty fifty uh, five to sixty five k per month in that. All right. And it is no, it is no BPO, no calling or chatting process is going to be there. Both side cab and meal facilities are going to be provided if the people are working from office, and as a benefit of health insurance. All right. Clear, everybody. Yes, ma'am. It's clear. Yes, ma'am. It's clear. Out as of now. Yes, ma'am. Clear. All right. So we cap here, here we have one model as sorry yes. Ma'am, cap facility कितनी देर तक चले रहेगी? Radius क्या होगा ma'am इसका? Cap facilities कितनी देर तक मिलती है? क्या क्वेश्चन है? Ma'am, where the companies are located ma'am? So it depends on organization to organization like with to whom they want to uh, give the cap facility to. Basically, I guess it's for uh, women most of the time. But it depends on the organization. While you're giving the interview, you can ask these questions to the interviewer. Okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. So here we have one more model as well. The people who are from IT background, like BCMC or BTech, and if they want to get placed as a manual testing or software testing or automation testing, they can also have this opportunity 
if if you are interested in this kindly message me over the whatsapp personally for the same all right so here we are starting our first topic which is the difference between implementation partner and direct client which we also called them end client so what do you mean client or end client here we have direct client as in at&t pwc humana healthcare uss bank or cardinal or am there are many others as well so suppose at&t is the organization is a company who is looking for java developer okay so this at&t organization is going to share the requirement of java developer to the staffing companies staffing company means your company where you guys are going to work so if the company that means organization is sharing the requirement directly to us to staffing company that means we are dealing with direct client but suppose pwc is required a java developer and then pwc is first getting contact with this uh, cognizant xcl xcl or accenture which are the implementation partners and then accenture is sharing the same request or requirement with us to the staffing companies then we call them implementation partner that means we are getting the requirement indirectly when you deal with implementation partners here so here it is written yes, no, it's clear. that implementation partner implements the requirements of various other companies jo implementation partner hai ye kiski implement karta hai requirements dusri companies ki right which are direct clients okay so suppose we have hcl as an implementation partner then hcl will get the requirement from the companies like adnt microsoft google pwc etc and then forward the same requirement to the staffing companies that means staffing company get the requirements indirectly when they deal with implementation partner but whereas if they deal with direct client or end client direct client sends the requirements directly to the staffing company suppose we have apple as a direct client then apple will send the requirements directly to the staffing companies got it Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Right. Yes, ma'am. Next topic which we have is type of employment, which is three. Basically, we have three types of employment. First employment is contractual positions. In contractual positions, what is going to be there? That means in this we hire the candidate on hourly basis. Like you are going to hire a candidate on hourly basis. That means they have the duration. The minimum duration of the job, uh, the contract will be of six months. and the maximum will be 24 months only okay then this you have the candidates on hourly basis that is dollar 40 per hour or dollar 60 per hour this is the way of hiring the people on contractual positions but if the client is looking or giving full time job so that means that in this you hire the candidate on salary salary basis that means per annum as we do in india right which is dollar 260 per year or dollar 123 per year like this and third uh, third deployment is c2h which is contract to hire that means at first the company is hiring the candidate on contractual basis but after certain period of time if the uh, if the company likes their work and wants them to uh, come or on boarded on full time then they hire the candidate on full time this is this is how they work in c2h okay That means पहले तो वो contractual position पे बंदे को hire करेंगे, but after certain period of time if they like their works they hire them on full time. Clear? Yes ma'am. All yes ma'am. Clear to you all? Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Yes, ma I am going to ask you these questions after the session. Okay, so people who are saying yes and okay to me right now need to be answerable after the session as well. Okay? Sure. Very, very less responses to this question, which I have just asked. Yes, right. Are you guys okay with it? Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, 
how many type of clients do we have guys how many two. type of clients we have correct two name two name two direct client and implementation partner correct we have two type of client which is direct client and implementation partner right so here clients will share the requirements to the staffing companies right and then after getting the requirement from the staffing uh, from the clients staffing company share the requirements to the account manager or also known as team leaders who are going to be lead your you guys okay so the staffing company share the requirements with the account manager or the team leaders and then team leader will share the same requirement with you guys being as a it recruiter right and then your role and roles and responsibility is to find the candidate for that client after finding the candidate submit the uh, candidate to the client this is the hierarchy of a usit recruiter right so here we have three terminologies as well which is first is bill rate bill rate is what we get from the client jo client de raha right pay rate is what we give to the candidate jo as a recruiter you guys are going to give this candidate whereas the margin is the difference between the bill rate and the pay rate so that's why you need to do negotiation while you are talking with the candidate you can't directly give the same rate to the candidate which is given to you by the client you need to do some negotiation so then you will you this will help you guys uh, earning incentives out of it all right people is it clear yes ma'am yes, ma so here we have the bill rate is dollar 60 and the pay rate is dollar 50 so the margin will be dollar 10 right so if we calculate it for one week so 10 into 8 8 is the number of hours of working a person is working on and 5 is the number of days a person is working okay so 10 into 8 into 5 is equal to dollar 400 per week from a single candidate and if we calculate if it for a one month that means dollar 400 into 4 which we have four weeks in a month right which is equal to dollar 1600 per month and if we calculate it for one year the same is equal to 1600 into 12 because we have 12 months in a year correct so which is equal to dollar 19200 per year from a single candidate a staffing company is earning so if we calculate it for an indian rupees it is around rupees 13 lakh from a single candidate the company on 13 lakh from one candidate only now you can imagine how much you can earn while working in this company is right so you will get a lot hell of opportunities a lot hell of incentives out of it while working as a recruiter in that you are going to get your basic salary which is there but you can also uh, you know earn incentives in this all right so that's why we here ask you to do negotiation all right so bill rate is what we get from the client pay rate is what we give to the candidate and margin is the difference between the bill rate and the pay rate the higher the margin the higher is the incentive that's why we negotiate the rate with the candidate clear everybody yes yes ma'am right. yes ma'am so now we are going to discuss the recruitment life cycle so i'm going to ask one by one can anybody please tell me like what is the first step of a recruitment anybody any idea what is going to be the we first need, step we need to understand the description correct very nice who spoke this jairam ma'am jairam great the first the first step is to understand the requirement read the job description right so the first step is to understand the requirement like you will get the requirement through your team lead or manager the first step is to understand the requirement thoroughly go through the job description learn about the job title location duration which is which type of employment the client is looking for is it contractual full time or contract to hire 
or who is the client right all such things you need to see and can anybody please tell me after uh, learning about the requirement what is the second step we have to search for the different job portals correct very nice priti the next step is to find the candidates on job portals right so sourcing sourcing is the second phase sourcing the candidates from the job portals like dice monster career builder tech fetch these are the job portals on which you will able to find the candidates on and also you will going to get the find the candidates through ats ats is application tracking system which is a staffing companies database only every company every staffing companies are using this database some are using job diva some are using cpal or some are using bullhorn it depends on organization to organization what sort of thing they are using but every staffing company is using ats which is application tracking system so that first it helps you to give the resumes of the candidates they have a database right second it will help them to track your day to day activity what sort of candidate you are talking with what sort of thing you are doing on the job diva what sort of things you are if you are talking with the candidate you need to update that on the job diva so that other person who are working on the same position might get an idea like if the if you are if already talk with this person or not and other than that if you submit a candidate so that other company as well as the people who are working with you get an idea that like you submit this candidate okay so this ats helps the company in two ways giving the resumes to the candidates and tracking your day to day activities clear and also okay. you can source okay. the candidates through vendor list and bensil companies and also through linkedin facebook and twitter have bensil companies are the same as we have been uh, have the consultancies in india right there the students will or the candidates will give their resumes right so that's why you can source the candidate from bensil companies as well clear everybody yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma right what how what is going to be the third phase anybody contacting the person who are interested means we are looking for the job correct that means what kind screening of... screening right screening the best candidate out of all right so after sourcing you need to screen the candidate take the full name of the candidate email phone number comfort level with the requirement ask them are they okay for the relocation part or not what is their work authorization what are their tax terms are they able to negotiate on the rate part and the salary part which you are giving to them take their updated resumes and the documents required from the client end right these are going to be the third phase first is understand the requirement second source the candidate third screen the candidate fourth will be submission submission correct fourth will be submission ab sare kaam ho gaye candidate mil gaya aur ko hume kya karna hai submit karna hai right so here we have two two you have uh, two times you have to uh, submit first to your first submission mail is to your manager and leaders and the second is to the ats i have just told you before like ats works as a tracking system and the other person application tracking working in the organization will get an idea right so you need to update on the ats as well and in the email as well as on the updation on the ats you need to attach three, three four things which are first screening information which is this or it depends on client to client what sort of other things they want to ask first is screening information second is their updated resume third is the attached documents required from the client end and fourth that means here we have written in second which is mandatory thing which is rtr that is right to represent or rate confirmation in this what we going to do we are going to send an email to the candidate like we are, so that you will get a confirmation out of him that you are locking this candidate on this profile to this client on this rate so that no other person or other people can uh, walk towards the same profile for the same position to this client okay so when you are you have a uh, you know a content or a format of this rtr thing every company do have 
okay so you have the basic thing which is written in that email is like that only which i'm just telling you right now like con taking taking a confirmation of the rate part to the client to whom you are locking to which client and on which uh, uh position rate and the client these three things are mandatory okay so then the candidate will send you like yes i agree or yes i confirm so you need to attach this rtr on the submission part as well all right people is it clear to you all yes all right after the submission the fifth phase will be interview, interview right so interviews are going to be there these till this five phases this is your day to day daily activity which you need to fulfill all right other than the sixth phase when the sixth phase come it is purchase orders or closure mm -hmm. that means like when you submit a candidate to the client and after taking the interview the candidate gets selected in the company on that basis you are going to get incentives which we known as purchase order or closures if the candidate get rejected then it is okay that that will be considering your day to day roles and responsibilities which you have to fulfill but if the candidate get selected on that basis you will get incentive incentives to penny no clear everybody yes sir and closures ka matlab samajh mein aaya yeah madam all right so the seventh and eighth phase will be uh, paperwork and start date clear any doubt as of now we have just covered three to four topics first is the difference between implementation partner and direct client second is the type of employments third how staffing companies are earning money and fourth is the recruitment life cycle any doubt in these four topics no ma'am clear कैलिफोर्निया F L stands for Florida, G S stands for Georgia, I D stands for Idaho, N J stands for New Jersey, N Y stands for New York. So you need to learn their abbreviations as well as the pronunciations because while you are going to connect with the U S people, so you need to know about like how they pronounce their states. All right, so you like can learn from Google or YouTube. All right, this is your work from home. work for home okay all right people so the next topic which we're going to cover is us time zones basically we have six time zones so if the interviewer is going to ask you a questionnaire how many time zones do we have so you need to say like basically we have four time zones but or basically we have six time zones but we work only on four time zones which are eastern central mountain, mountain and pacific all right and in every time zone we have one hour difference so the uh, if the interview will going to ask you a question like if there is 2 pm in pacific so what is what is going time is going to be in central it will be 4 pm so it is according to their sequence only so learn it from their sequence only like first it comes eastern then central then mountain and then pacific clear and the rest two is hawaii and alaska everybody is do you have any doubt no ma'am no oh, ma'am no ma'am yeah oh, ma six time zone which is eastern standard time zone central standard time zone mountain standard time zone and pacific standard time zone and the last two we have hawaii and alaska all right so except for saturday sunday you are going to get holidays on this new year's day presidents day memorial day independence day labor day veterans day thanksgiving day and christmas as well so except for saturday sunday you will enjoy these holidays as well in as a usid recruiter clear okay the last topic of the day is day light saving concept Anybody have any clue or idea what is daylight saving concept? 
Yes, ma'am. Tell me. Six months. The time is one hour late for the. Correct. Very nice. Daylight saving concept is basically happened due to climatic changes. Okay. So as you all know, like in India, just give me a minute. Hi, Sanjay Mehta. Hello. Why you joined so late? Um, because some work, man. I'm busy on another work. So, do you know, like today's session is about your site recruitment, and you need to take this training, and then you are joining around eight forty-two. Early, I've given you a time of eight p.m. So I think you lost the session because everything is, uh, you know, ended now. It's the last topic I'm just discussing. So it's okay. just my humble request to you right now. If you want to stay, do stay because now I'm going to ask you the questions with the people. So you'll get a, you know, a little bit of things like what sort of things we'll discuss today. All right. And from tomorrow onwards, mm -hmm. you need to join on time at 8 p.m. only. Otherwise, I will okay. not be entertained. Okay. All right. So the last topic which we're going to cover is daylight saving concept, which is happens due to basically climatic changes. As you all know in India as well, in summers days are longer and nights are shorter, right? Whereas in winters days are shorter and nights are longer, right? The same way happens there. So that's why what they do. They fix the time, which is they fix the uh, day, uh, day, which is like the daylight saving concept starts on every second Sunday in March. Uh, on every second Sunday in March, the daylight saving concept starts, and it ends on first Sunday in November. So the date might be any, it might be fourteen, fifteen, or sixteen, but the day is fixed, which is second Sunday of March, and the time is also fixed, which is two o'clock. So when the clock hits to two o'clock, then they forwarded the clock by one hour and making it show three o'clock. All right. When they are turning their clock one hour forward, that means on that day sunset and the sunrise will be one hour later, according to their clock. But according to the day, it is it is according to their uh, the the same hours of uh, sunrise and the sunset are going to be there. But according to their clock, it will be one hour later. Because now, sun sunrise to apni marzi se hua tha. Saare panch baje agar wo ho raha tha, saare panch baje hi hua tha. Or sunset ka time agar saare panch baje hai shaam ka. Lekin humne apni ghadi mein ek ghanta aage bada diye. To hamari ghadi mein jab saare chhe baje honge, tab sunset ho raha. Right. Is it clear, everybody? Yes, ma'am. So, okay. same thing happens in the winters, which is like daylight saving concept ends on first Sunday in November. So, the when the clock hits to two o'clock, they'll do what they do. They push the clock backward by one hour and making it show one o'clock. So, on that day, the sunset and the sunrise will be one hour earlier because we have. बैकवर्ड उसको कर दिया सो so, अगर साढ़े पांच बजे होना होगा तो हमारे जब घड़ी में साढ़े चार बजेंगे तो सनसेट हो जाएगा क्लियर एवरीबडी कैन यू एक्सप्लेन वन सेकेंड मैम करेक्ट आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग डे लाइट सेविंग कॉन्सेप्ट स्टार्ट होता है सेकेंड संडे मार्च में ठीक है और एंड होता है फर्स्ट संडे इन नवम्बर विच इज फिक्स ठीक है और टाइम भी इन्होंने फिक्स कर रखे दो बजे ही ठीक है तो जब समर्स में सेकंड संडे मार्च आता है और जब क्लॉक दो लाइक जब क्लॉक में टू ओ क्लॉक होते हैं तो क्या करते हैं सब ये लोकल टाइम जोन में भी हो जाता है और सबकी घड़ियों में भी हो जाता है दे पुश देयर क्लॉक और दे फॉरवर्ड देयर क्लॉक वन आर अर्लियर लाइक फॉरवर्ड बढ़ा देते हैं एक घंटा तो अगर घड़ी में हमारे जैसे दो बजे के हमें उसको तीन बजा दिए ठीक है तो तीन बजा दिया है तो दैट मीन ऑन दैट डे सनसेट और सनराइज क्या होगा एक घंटे बाद में हमारे को दिखाई देगा हमारी घड़ी के उससे लेकिन चाहे वो हो अपने टाइम जोन अपने टाइम के अकॉर्डिंग है लेकिन हमारे को तो वो एक घंटा बाद दिखेगा ना क्योंकि हमने अपनी घड़ी में एक घंटा बढ़ा दिया क्लियर किसने पूछा पवन कुमार मैम ओके सो नाउ यू गॉट इट मैम थैंक यू मैम 
नो प्रॉब्लम सो द सेम थिंग हैपेंस इन विंटर्स तो फॉर फॉर संडे और नवंबर का फिक्स है तो जैसे ही घड़ी में दो बजते हैं तो उसमें हम क्या करते हैं विंटर्स में अपनी घड़ी को पीछे कर देते हैं एक घंटा पीछे अब अगर हमने घड़ी को पीछे कर दिए तो इस दिन क्या होगा हमारे को सनराइज और सनसेट अर्लियर जल्दी पहले दिखेगा राइट एनी डाउट एनी बडी इज देर एनी डाउट नो मैम लेट मी जस्ट टेक ब्रीथ then i'm going to start asking the questions with you all okay so the people uh, when i started the session was around 29 and now it is 26 so let me just write it down on a sheet give me a minute All right. So, are you all ready? Yes, ma'am. All right, people. Great. The first question I'm going to ask is with ninety-five V Umesh Kumar. Are you here? Yeah, ma'am. Can you please tell me what is the basic difference between implementation partner and direct client? Implementation is implementing our skills. implementing our skills is that sure no this is not the answer why you there yeah, yeah. i was teaching i missed the first section ma'am i joined in middle of the section all right tell me how many type of employments do we have Hello. Yeah, ma'am. How many guys? I'll ask everybody. Abhi, I'll let let's be getting one by one. Okay. How many type of employments do we have? I think two, ma'am. Thank you, Omesh. Abdul, are you here? Yes, ma'am. Can you please tell me what is the difference between implementation partner and direct client? Mm, direct partner, uh, uh, client directly, uh, they will. I mean, uh, they recruit. Uh, we staffing manager directly recruits uh, from like uh, big companies like uh, Apple and uh, Facebook, Google. Uh, they directly uh, consult uh, staffing management, whereas. Uh, mm. implementation partner uh, they will go to uh, tcs uh, hcl to cognizant companies like uh, they from there they will contact to staffing manager that uh, therefore they have gone through hcl and uh, whatever the companies tcs hcl cognizant and all so it you, comes under uh, uh, implementation no, no, partner you are telling it not a uh, not a right manner you are getting i am getting you what you are saying but you are not explaining the process in the right manner so let uh, if let me see if other ex are explaining the same way or if they are explaining in different way okay so the process which you are explaining is not right but the thing you are telling to me i understood like you are there i i can see that thank you also okay. you uh, this is for everybody you need not to mention this google facebook and apple uh, sort of clients because these are very very big clients you can't directly deal with them in this spam of one year right so the uh, the direct client which i mentioned at&t humana healthcare pwc are going to be your uh, direct clients all right okay all right thank you abdul the next we have is abhi singh are you here Yes, ma'am. Can you please tell me now what is the basic difference between implementation partner and direct client? Um, direct client are those clients who send their uh, 
requirements direct to the staffing companies mm. and the implementation implementation partners are those clients who send their uh, requirements to uh, reputed companies like hcl wipro after that the companies send their requirement to the staffing companies Correct. here that, you have to mention like implementation uh, implementation partners are those who get the requirements from the direct lines जो जिनके पास रिक्वायरमेंट्स आती हैं डायरेक्ट लाइन से राइट डायरेक्ट लाइन शेयर करते हैं रिक्वायरमेंट्स इंप्लीमेंटेशन पार्टनर से सो इंप्लीमेंटेशन पार्टनर आर दोस हु गेट द रिक्वायरमेंट्स फ्रॉम द डायरेक्ट लाइन एंड देन शेयर द सेम रिक्वायरमेंट्स विद द स्टाफिंग कंपनीज दे प्ले एज अ थर्ड पार्टी रोल दैट मींस व्हेन दे गेट द रिक्वायरमेंट व्हेन द स्टाफिंग कंपनी डील विद द इंप्लीमेंटेशन पार्टनर दे गेट द रिक्वायरमेंट्स इनडायरेक्टली क्लियर Abdul, is it clear to you as well as and to everybody else? Yes, ma'am. All right. Abhi, can you please tell me what is the how many type of employments do we have? There are three types. Of... First is. First is contract. Then yes, second is full position. I mean, contract. We hire the candidates like hourly basis. Hmm. The, we pay the candidate on hourly basis, and mm. second one is the full time job. Like in India, all the companies are hiring us as a full time job, and the third one is like firstly the companies hire the candidate as a contract basis. After that, if the work if the candidate works properly. If the company likes the work of candidate, after that they hire for the full time. Correct. And what is the minimum duration of the contractual position? Um, it depends. Like it's from six months to twenty four months. Correct. And what uh, what is the other name of direct line? Um, other name of the direct. Line. Hmm. Um, no, I might not. No problem. Thank you, Abhi. Amkor Kusum Magri. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing the name incorrectly, but are you present here? Oh, it's not. What's your name? Uh, what's the pronunciation of your name? My name is also Kushi, ma'am. I Kushi Magri. Everyone call me like Kushi. All right, your name is Kushi. Okay, great. Hi, Kushi. Can you please tell me what is the other name of the direct client? Hello. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. What is the other name of direct line? No idea. Okay. What is the first step? Uh, like, what do you mean by bill rate? Okay. Uh, uh, bill rate. What do you get from the client? Talk? And uh, pay with me. What we do to the client? And margin. So margin now is a different thing for between bill rate and sales. Correct. And what is the first phase of recruitment life cycle? Training or phase one like that? No. Thank you. Hi, Bhavna. Hello, ma'am. Okay. What is the first? First phase of searching the candidate. No, first phase, guys. First phase. Mm. What is the other name of direct line? Bhavna. Uh, yes, ma'am. What is the other name of direct line? ईस्टर्न पैसिफिक माउंटेन एंड 
सेंट्रल एंड द रेस्ट टू अलास्का एंड हवाई करेक्ट थैंक यू and we will be uh, you know uh, present in the class well i'll say because yes ma'am ask two more questions which you are which you are not able to answer right yes ma'am yes ma'am we'll be present right okay ma'am i'll be present guys for me don't they please the para hi bhushan are you here bhushan garg are you here All right. All right. Next we have is. Oh, I'm sorry. I just removed Bhavna. I guess no. Shit. All right. Hi, uh, Gattu Palani Kumar. Are you here? Guys, am I audible to everybody? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes, ma yes, yes. I get to. Yes, ma'am. What's your name? Get to Palayan Kumar, ma'am. Okay, it's the same. Okay. Yeah. Can you please tell me what is the other name of uh, direct line? um that name, mother name is unclaimed ma'am correct very good yeah. guys the other name of direct client is end client all right abhi yes. are you here listening to it yes yes ma'am yes all right okay uh, gattu can you please tell me what uh, what is the first phase of recruitment life cycle uh we will get the recruitment uh, through the team ma'am mm, like get job that? correct and yeah. what is the second phase Uh, uh sourcing candidates we find we will find the sourcing candidates ma'am and what are the job portals job portals java uh, uh like um, testing no no what is the job portals um uh, job portal i don't know clear yeah. okay through which uh, you know application you going to uh, hire the candidates on like kaun se koi portals honge kis tarike se source karoge candidates ko ma'am to which through which application or through which portal you going to uh, you know recruit the candidate uh based on their positions ma'am uh. No problem. Okay, what's the third? What's the third phase? Ah, uh, third phase. Uh, we had to uh, know the candidate's uh, na name, ah, uh, comfort level. So. Correct. What is the yeah. fourth phase? Um, ah, uh, submission to manager, ma'am. Correct. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hidyansh Tiwari, are you here? Yes, ma'am. Can you please tell me what is the second phase of recruitment life cycle? Ma'am, second phase. Ma'am, uh... it's a web sourcing. Sourcing, yes, sourcing from. from online profiles to get what are the job portals okay. yes ma'am what are the job portals ma'am job portals like nokri and uh... no nokri is not for the us it is when you are outside how how come you are listening to my class okay how many time zones do we have Yes, How many time zones do we have? All right, thank you. Hi, uh, Jaya Ram. Yes, ma'am. Can you please tell me what is the second phase of recruitment life cycle? 
सीपाल clear ha yes, okay tell me what is the difference between implementation partner and direct client ha implementation uh, implementation do who get the requirement from the direct client hmm and they share the requirements to staffing companies correct and hmm. direct client is uh, and the name is and client ha correct thank you jara krishna kant okay. are you here ha yeah ma'am Yes. Can you please tell me uh, what do you mean by daylight saving concept? Okay. Okay. Come again. Ma'am. Daylight saving concept. Daylight saving concept. Uh, November. Daylight. Okay. All right. What is what is the fourth phase of recruitment life cycle? Fourth phase. Uh, submission document. What are the documents we require for submission? हैव Four, four. Four time zones we have. So parents meeting. Four time zones. No. Mountain. Hmm. Pacific. Hmm. Central. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Krishna Gant, you are uh, uh, were you present in the class while I was speaking? Basically, we have six time zones. I've told you prior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So only four time zones, right? and also what? the second most thing which i have told you like uh, submission me kya important hai you why are not able to justify that as well so need yeah, to be active in the session okay so okay, kal baat hui thi dawa lene parso already you already told me ma'am six uh, time zones but uh, Haan, most of most of the preferable only four time zones correct ha and that's why and every time zone how much hour of difference we have one hour one, one hour thank you morya ji are you here बस वही थोड़ा बहुत खासी आ रहा है बाकी सब बढ़िया है हम्म मौर्य जी आई यू हियर चलो ठीक मौर्य जी आई यू हियर 